six to eight weeks, people will be asking about the right choice, crop choice, profitability, etc. etc. So we'll try and concentrate on those more, more than others. Starting off on that, and I suppose winter barley, on page, um, sorry, page seven, there's a little pull-out chart. And the pull-out chart um, is something that we introduced last year and the year before. It talks about seeding rates, talks about sowing dates, and variety choice. And certain varieties, even with our own portfolio, we know they're not uh, suitable for certain slots, okay? They're sown too early, sown too late. We know that, we know their disease tolerance, we know their logic score, we know whether or not they're going to work in terms of take on. I would say if we were to look at it there, like there's a, a difference between where we can drill rye, the Teo and the Serafino, there's a difference from that down to the Belfry and the Joyo, and there's a further difference again in terms of the casting with Saturo. And like even like obviously we won't have the competitor varieties on our own portfolio. But even if we were just take it as a category, like we wouldn't be as confident about a farmer drilling our own casting the, towards the middle end of September when we know we, a better choice will be Belfry. And the reason why we would say that one is, number one, it's because of the take-all tolerance that's in Belfry, the hybrids. Number two, there's a disease tolerance there. Number three, there's certainly some element of toughness and ability to outperform when the situation is a bit more challenging, okay? Now, you can tailor agronomy-wise to do a little bit more, but in terms of a pure variety choice, that's why that chart is designed as it is, to give guidance as to where we think the variety suit best. Now, on the 1st of October to the 5th of October, it turns around, and then your two row, your six row, it depends then on what you want to get out of it and what suits the situation. But when you're going that bit earlier, it's a little bit more challenging on take all root diseases, um, perhaps you're expecting a, a higher disease challenge from rinkus or netlot, that's where the hybrids come in. But I would say to people, for all the crops we have, for all the varieties we offer, uh, I, I would have kind of said to people before, look, when you open up the bag of seed, it's your first fungicide. It also could be your first insecticide if you're talking about Joyo, okay? Um, but there are going to be more traits coming. Um, and as I think breeders get a handle of what the European Union are doing, I think they'll start to adapt and you'll start to see more uh, systems approach arising. Okay, so that's the drilling plan. As I said, all of the information on our varieties is in that uh, as a snapshot, but it is important to look at the start and end date for each variety. There's a particular reason why um, we have those kind of as a as a slanted line throughout the year. 